morning. A uh, bit of a sad one today with Hadrian's Wall. Um, but just about to call, like what I'm doing is, is going around the north side of like, uh, well, Sycamore Gap, which, okay, so I suppose you just call it the Gap now, don't you? Um, and along the house steads, and then I'll come back along the wall, which was just in front of where they were sort of going up that way. It's a bit boggy this way, but uh, you get a, a good view if that fog lifts um, of like how imposing the wall actually is. Like, but uh, aye, it's been in the news quite a bit, bit recently. Um, obviously, with some an idiot uh, cutting down the sycamore gap tree um, as it stands I think it was early on this week uh, two lads in the 30s have been arrested now um, oh Christ look at this one <laughs> uh, two lads in the 30s have been arrested which way will I bloody get here um, I'm not going that way. Uh, <laughs> I'll let me come back over and up that bank. Um, previous to that, there was a 16-year-old uh, arrested and a bloke in his 60s, I think he was. I don't want to get up here. Um, I saw... I just thought I'd come pay me respect. Because um, it was queer because about, I think it was a Monday before it happened. I was intent to come up. <laughs> um, I wish I had now. Wait, I'm just gonna jump. <laughs> yeah, 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 boy. Get in there. Bloody hell. That other the place is what? It's been raining a lot, mate. Uh, all right, um, park it, the sill. Instead of the steel rig car park, it's a bit more of a walk. You walk past the steel rig car park as well. But you have to peer on entrance in there. So you're like sort of rushing to get done. Uh, and the stuff at the sill you can look at afterwards and you kind of a bit of, bit of bait. So I do that. I right, but why on earth? I've done that for is anybody's guess like I, it just beggars belief why these fucking idiots done that like, it, and you're not all fucking idiots they're fucking dickheads to be honest it, why <laughs> it's just pointless absolutely pointless right I've twisted on too much let's crack on it what that goddamn Cows are in another field, eh? Ho, ho, ho. Could have been dealing with them, like. Not the day. Not with this mud. <laughs> now, uh, uh, it just looks wrong. It, uh, it's just <laughs> really looks weird without that tree being there. Really bizarre. Uh, like I say, why do it? Cause anybody any harm whatsoever. So that's high shield there. I mean, like, if you think of the wall on top of there, I mean, any nut job Scotsman. <laughs> It's gonna, even they're gonna think twice of taking that on, like. But, uh, that's Cragloff there. Uh, if you can just see the pool of water in front of us, get a better view of that when we come back round and we're on top of the alley. Um, aye, it, it's fairly imposing, like, like the lumps and bumps. Just that to it, like, you know, it's, it is, it's quite, quite imposing. I just thought we've got a 
good view <laughs> once we get up that side because the, the fog's coming in again I must say right I hope these are sheep how are you? looks like you're high right what you can do when you come up to this fence here is go through there and over to where the farmhouse is I suppose you could go up there if you wanted to Hillstead or you could like just turn back around and back the sail or the steel crack car park but uh, I'm cracking on around the back here last time I was here a couple of years back uh, my youngest son Luke uh, were like we sort of come along this way and look back around this way and it was very 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 muddy um so i'm expecting that at like sort of far end way um opposite housesteads i'm sure I'll go through some woods which must be there uh, oh and you know some cows fantastic well i think the path runs on that side i haven't rested i've come up this way on the rear bit over from them and I hope I can get up back onto the path over there this doesn't seem too wet down there so I'm not expecting any rivers and out there's some more Haven's wall there in the mist some sort of kiln or something quite in view anyway of course not only has the Adrian's wall got its own path uh, which I've done come on, a couple of years back two three years ago um, the Penning Way crosses through here as well I th where you've gone from the south uh, you join up like Westley, come along. I'm sure that that's the cut there that you come along, and there is the the sign there. And then you make your way up that way towards Bellingham and that, and then you can sniff then. But then really, is it something I'd like to do? Mm -hmm. Let's wait on my retirement. I get a hell of a lot of it. Aye. Right. We're cracking along, along this way. Aye, uh, a few years back, me and uh, my oldest son, Adam, done the Hadrian's Wall path, but we've done it there. Uh, we didn't just stop at Segadunum and Wall's End. We went on uh, uh, Time Mouth, finished there. What was it? I think it was clocking 90 odd mile by the end of it. Like, um, I would done it for charity, we raised about £2,500 or so. Uh, I would have the video on my channel, but Adam set it up um, and somehow we lost the password to it and stuff like that, so it's on another channel. Um, I'm sure. If you go like on me like page sort of like opening page thing, I don't know what the hell it is. My channel, anyway. I think it's got the link to it there. But I'll also I'll put in the link to this video uh, down below, as they say. Uh, like and subscribe. Don't bother. Um, <laughs> oh, cows. Um, I saw. I have done that, so I mean that that is the hardest bit, the bit we're just about to do. Um, but what a cracking time we had, man! And then uh, Luke joined with for the last day. I think he had some assignment to do or something like that. Uh, the last day, and I, I think he was still lagging behind with that. I believe. I believe he passed late. Well, that's why he told me and his mum. So, well, he did, he didn't. Christ knows. Uh, I only get told when I need to be told. <laughs> I saw. I was it was cracking, and after doing that, it just I wanted to do loads and loads more. But the day hikes, we 
much I've, I've been trying to do, but it's time and money and getting time off work, oh, that sort of thing. Weather, <laughs> that's been terrible the last couple of weeks or so. Um, I so, oh, what a cracking time we had, man. I loved it. B and B's were done it. If I was going to do it now, I'd do campsites, I think. I don't think Adam would. He's a bit of a princess in that sense. <laughs> Aye, but oh, what a cracking time we had, man. Fantastic. And people were so kind, uh, donating and stuff like that. Can't believe we got that much money, like. Joey, um, but I it, it's about an hour and a quarter, something I think. The film, film, <laughs> film. the video. Uh, so I enjoy, I'll lead you that way for if you want to get to sleep at any point. But it is a oh, it's, it's can't be laughing. I really enjoy myself. Let's bring back a lot of memories being around here. <sighs> well, that was fun getting through that gate. Fantastic. Great. Right, onwards. I think we're just going to the roundabout there and turn back. Right, so this is where we turn back and go along the wall. It's harsh, like, right? <laughs> a lot of ups and downs. I mean, this is a quick taste of what you have to deal with <laughs> this. I've just come down there, up, back down again, up. And it gans on like that. Well, you've seen it, haven't you, from the other side? <coughs> There's the woods that we walked through. You can barely bloody see it. Uh, clearing up a little bit this side. But it, it looks as though it's coming from the east and it has been really foggy over like sort of Newcastle here yeah, took way so uh, here we go another one so there's house there today and we'll first prop a bit of wall just here that carries on all the way from where we come, <laughs> and further actually. Because, uh, let's see how you can tell, it's quite thin. Hadrian's wall's quite thick. And supposedly, it was painted white. So I've heard, I've, I've watched a few like documentaries about it and stuff like that. And, uh, it was painted white. It would have looked absolutely fantastic back in the day. Like. Not what I like living them times like. <laughs> oh, can he climb? Onwards, westwards. Right, so that's how steads are there. And like the uh, visitor centre's down at the bottom there. I once pulled me cough, <laughs> madly. Uh, coming up the path there once, absolutely killed us. Got so far along, I had to give up and then come back along the road. It took ages. Anyway, <laughs> not about my ailments. Uh, aye, let's have a little gander what we can see without actually going in because I can't like look right round. But aye, uh, just get through from a gate here. Uh, I'm trying to have a look through there. I saw that at there. Um, I think there's stuff you can look at in there as well and I like I say the visitor sent us down the uh, path as you can, where you can probably see two people walking up um, I to, there's a shop there and stuff like that you can get some refreshments I was how moody <laughs> it's a scenery eh? that looks beautiful over there So we're cracking on further along. Yep. 
can see a lot of these uh, at various points uh, mail castles which one's this one mail castle 37 um it's just shorter than a a one males um so they built them like every like Roman male. As you can see, there's like a doorway there to the north. But I, I heard that they, uh, they used to let like <coughs> farmers and stuff in and stuff like that to sell the wares and what have you. Uh, I suppose this is where it was heavily guarded as well. Like, so. And he heed the battles trying to get in, be deterred. Hopefully, I've got a canny size, like it's pretty late. Like, none of them are like still fully constructed, really. Like, so, kind of a good look. So it's that, that's that uh, farm we've seen before when we passed over that way and you could come through, I think that's the gate over there you can come through through the gate there and then back onto here but there is Cragloff um, so the path sort of meanders around there and to know that up unfortunately but a beautiful view down there through the trees and that eh? and right up at the top and then uh, where them trees are in the distance, just before that other peak, uh, there's a, um, a trick point up there actually, uh, we're not going that far. That is where the car park is, and so the sill must be down there somewhere, it's sort of hidden. Uh, so you haven't got that far to go, it's just time consuming with the ups and downs really. So yeah, we'll crack on. Uh, so you see more gap, pay with respect, and then crack on. If you find the ups and downs a bit too much, there is like a lure sort of path that's like more gentle. Uh, you've got more chance of bumping into cows, but uh, I like this. You'll see like to the side, the southerly side, there is like a path that's uh, a bit more gentle on your knees. <laughs> Mostly I've been tempted a couple of times with my knee jerked a little bit before there and I thought maybe have to use it but uh, we're going this way being stupid Uh, this is the sort of place where it starts to get a bit more busy. Uh, certainly around where uh, Sycamore Gap is. Uh, people tend to like go there, like even now to be fair, even though the tree's gone. Um, <coughs> and they just do a loop, usually back and forth or down that easier path. But there is the sill down there quite close but like I say it is quite time consuming with ups and downs so it's a lovely walk mate it's so high up here like. <laughs> it's a bit scary looking down there like, but look the way that meanders man absolutely fantastic Beautiful.
came up there, man. So busy. No, <laughs> I think I've done the wrong way around. I should have went that way first, really. Miss the crowd. Uh, everybody come for a selfie. Well, we're living here. And that's it. Done. <laughs> Through the car park you can get into the uh, youth hustle bit. There's the digs there. I think that's where you go in. Put in. I see it's very good. It's a lovely sausage sandwich, brown sauce, and a cup of tea. Oh, I needed that, but mate. And so there's like grass on the roof there, and you can kind of like view what we just walked over. And no, Vindalanda's down that way. That's a decent place to go. Aye, uh, so <coughs> it's tough up and down where the air the wall is um, a bit claggy up the north northern loop of it uh, but just means you're not going backwards and forwards you know so that's fine by me like um, I, I would say all in all it's probably about nine mile um, of course you can take that like lower route uh, if you don't fancy the ups and downs um, of course the the gap, sitting more gap there. I mean, there was a last cry, and as I was approaching it, and I thought, oh God, no, <laughs> isn't that bad? Um, it, it's just, I mean, there was a kid shouting on, couldn't seem to shake him, Halloween back, he had a big fear. <laughs> it's getting on my nerves. Um, I, it, it, was, it was quite somber, like, I'll not lie, like, it was quite sad. Um, it's just a massive gap <laughs> in the landscape, like, and it's really weird. You could see it as you were driving along. Yeah, it was really strange, you know. And then you see from that top end, it didn't just didn't look right. And you get there, and it's boosh, that's gone. Wow, and a uh, human beings doing that for what? Or human beings? <clears throat> Basically, what I put in the book uh, downstairs, like, it's just what we're capable of, isn't it, you know, but not for the right reasons, um, maybe should be remembered for that, you know, but there we go, uh, and then I come here, and, uh, that, that room, that room, it's so sad, loads of kids' messages up on the wall, you know, my favourite tree, Some, somebody wrote, first the queen, <laughs> now the tree, <laughs> which didn't make us laugh to be honest. Um, but I, I, it is quite sort of somber. It, it, I think they've like sort of hit the right notes, like sort of um, sort of um, emotionally. Let's say <coughs> the emotions of the people. Because <coughs> I mean, what was the point? What was the point of cutting that down? You know, what? There's a human race for you, isn't it? We're all dickheads. Um, but I crack and walk, really good walk, lovely, proper like pump out going up and down and stuff. It can get a bit niggly at times, but like <coughs> get on a good day, you can see for miles and miles. Unfortunately, it hasn't been that clear the day. Uh, and that's a look at South Sea. Um, I can see a little bit, a bit better now, but to get corner. So I.
I put all the stuff in like <coughs> buses you can get like the um what was it the two two three or whatever it is <coughs> as opposed to like stops up at each place like how steads here whatever but I'm sure it's only seasonal but yeah I'll, I'll put like all the, all the stuff up in the description uh, and I think I was sure I read uh, this morning you can get the ten I pass to go to each car park along the way so I'll, I'll put the stuff down for the sill and stuff like that. It explains everything in there for you. Car park, nice. I like so you car park. Like just kind of pop the car there now. Go, uh, take your regs that come in. So you just pay as you go. So you're not like rushing back to get back to your car park. Like the one up there, steel rig. But like I'll put on that one. Right, I've yabbered on far too long. Right, thanks for watching. I've loved that, but sort of hated it at the same time for obvious reasons. Why? It's hard to say why. Right, thanks for watching again. All the best. See you later. Drop.